welcome back to my t-shirt printers. I'm Mike and today let's do something in Illustrator. Okay, so today I thought what we could do in Illustrator is we could do some vector half tones now. What can we do with vector half tones? We can style the images, we can make them more cartoony, we could actually even use them to try and do gradients, which I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a combination between those. Since they're vector, we can scale them up as big as we want, we can make them as small as we want. And the good thing about them is once we've used them in certain situations, we can reuse them in other graphics and we just get those graphics a little bit more punch to them, even if they're single colors to multiple colors. It just gives your graphics more dimension and makes them look really, really good. With all of that, let's jump right in. Okay, so the first thing we're to start off is just to get a new page. So I've just opened up a new page here. I've gone up to file menu, got new, and just got a new page. It doesn't matter what size we start with. I've just got a basic A4 page. Let's get going on these halftones. Wait, wait, first off, there's lots of different ways to make halftone dots. I just want to say that so we don't upset the designers. But the next thing we want to do is sort out our colors. So for this, I want a black fill and no stroke. So if we head over to our tool palette over here, and you can see at this point, I've got a white. So I'm just going to flip those around and take out that stroke. So I don't want a stroke in here, I just want a black solid fill. Okay, so the next tool we're gonna need is the ellipse tool. So quick key of L, or you can head over to your tool palette over here and it's this little tool right here we're gonna need. So we're gonna make a circle, a perfect circle. So we're gonna hold down shift while dragging that object out. If you don't hold shift, it'll make an oval shape, which was not what we want at this point. We want a nice circle. So let's make our circle somewhere around, let's make it somewhere around about here-ish. Okay. Now I'm going to get my pointer tool, which is V, and I'm going to click and drag while holding Alt and shift, because it basically keeps it in line. So you see that little line linking the center of this look, the center of this circle to the center of that circle. So I'm going to drag that all the way Wow, let's drag it down to about here, I'd say. We're gonna make this really nice and long, okay. Now I'm just gonna zoom in. So I'm gonna hit spacebar and command or Apple, and I'm gonna drag in down there. Now with this little size over here, I'm gonna hold Alt and Shift at the same time to keep it in proportion, and I'm gonna drag inwards. So it basically is scaling from the center point inwards. And I'm gonna make this really, really small. So somewhere around about there. I'm just gonna zoom out again. So you can see we've got a big dot and a small dot. I'm just gonna click and drag with my pointer tool and right over both those dots to make, to make sure we have them both selected. Now I'm gonna head on up to Object, drop all the way down to where it says Blend, go across to Make. There's the quick key over there, which is Alt Command B or Alt Apple B. You're gonna click on that. And you can see it's made a whole bunch of dots all the way down to the bottom. Now, I'm gonna head back up to Object and go down to Blend again and go Blend Options. Now, what we wanna do here, when the screen pops up, the screen over here, we're gonna take it from Smooth Color down to Specified Steps and we're gonna click on Preview. Now, with the steps, this is for your guys experimenting. It's um, where how you want your effect to be. So let's just start off, I'm gonna hit 30, I'm gonna hit tab. I'm not gonna click this okay button over here, I'm just gonna hit tab. And you can see it started to give me more of the effect that I'm looking for. What I'm basically looking for with my half tones that I'm creating here is I want these first two to basically touch. So let's take that up to 31, hit that tab again. That's kind of what I'm looking for there. So right now we've got this, if you wanna call it an evolution of dots. Well, it looks like evolution. It's got the small dot to the big dot. Evolution. The next thing we want to do is make an entire row of these dots. So a big, long, horizontal row. So I'm going to click this with my pointer tool, just drag it off to the side. And now we're going to head on up to the effects window and drop all the way down to distort and transform. Head across down to transform. Okay, now the, you get this pop-up window that pops up. First thing we always want to do is click on the preview button. So we can see what we're going to be doing. Down here in the copies, I'm going to set this, let's set it at a whole load. Let's just go for 200 at this point. And we want to move up here to where it says move and horizontal. Let's start off with about, uh, let's just say 10. 
I'm going to hit the tab button and you can see it gives us a whole row of these dots. What I'm basically looking for here is almost like a equidistant between the two to make like nice almost like squares in between here. So that's looking a little bit rectangle on the horizontal side. So I'm just going to bring that in. Let's just go to nine. That's looking a little bit more square there. So you can see in between here it's looking a bit more square. That's what we're actually looking for. So I'm going to click OK. And you can see we've got a very, very, very long row of halftone dots. You can see how these halftones are really coming together, but we're not finished yet. Now that we have our almost to infinity row of dots here, I'm going to select it quick and give this halftone effect a little bit more edge. So at the moment, what you can see, it's actually quite straight. It doesn't look bad, but I just want to give it that little bit of an edge to make it more half tony. So what we're going to do, we're going to head on up to, let's go up to object and go to transform and then go to rotate. Now it pops up this window here. What I want to basically do is just, just click preview first. I want to set this angle to, let's go minus 30 degrees. I'm going to hit the tab button. And you can see what it's done, it's actually created almost like that honeycomb effect, which is the half tone effect. This is what we are looking for right now. So I'm going to click OK. And you can see that is really starting to look pretty, pretty good. So you can go ahead and experiment. You can make a bigger dot up here, a smaller dot up there, make a bigger dot down here, a smaller dot up there. It's all about experimenting. The last thing I want to do here is just expand these dots out so we can copy and paste them easy. Because at the moment, if you try to select this, you can see us really not selecting anything. It's actually just selecting this line over here. So what we want to do is head back up to object, drop down to expand appearance, and you'll see, boom, it gives us a whole bunch of dots. So basically now, we we can select those dots and we can change them to any color we want. So let's just make it red for now. Now that we have our awesome halftone dots, let me quickly show you what we could do with them. Let's quickly copy our halftone dots over here, going over to our design. Now you can see our design is looking not bad, but it's pretty flat. So I'm going to paste my halftones in this graphic. I'm going to put it somewhere about halfway. So I get a nice solid bit at the top and a solid bit at the bottom. Give my marquee tool, put it a little red bit over there. I'm just going to unite those two, head on over to my pathfinder, click expand, select both my reds, intersect those, click expand again, and boom, doesn't that look cool? It's giving that graphic a little bit more edge to it, and I think that looks awesome. I taught him that. Even if you don't have a fancy rip or anything like that, you could take that design, print it out, and screen print it. I'll put a link in the description below so you can download those dots, and I'd really like to see what you can do with them. Right, so that brings us to the end of today's quick tutorial. Make sure you head on over to our social channels to keep in touch. Send me those DMs of what you'll be able to do with these and with all the other prints that you guys have been doing because you've been downloading those files and I've been seeing some of the artwork that's coming through that you guys are doing. Really, really cool to see it all coming to life with somebody else actually doing it. Bloody awesome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and until next time, stay safe and keep on creating. Catch you later.